What's going on you guys, this is MaxKidia, I have another Dell Optiplex 980, this is the mini tower, I'm going to be upgrades for light gaming. So first you're going to do, I'm going to move the side cover panel. And, so this little latch right here, you have to press it down. Plastic, and you're going to move the two PCI brackets, I'm going to remove. And guys, the video card you can use uh, GT730. This one right here, you have to use a full high bracket. And this is a GT, this is GTX 750 low profile, and this is the GTX 1050 Ti low profile also. But you have to use a full height bracket. And the GTX 750 and the GTX 1050 Ti, they're all both using the same bracket. They look almost the same, but you go like this. So you can use any of the video cards you want, but with the full height bracket. And the video card you guys can also fit is a GTX 1016 here, the bottom one, because you can install the video card through the PCI Express uh, time 16 slot. Right here, the blue one, they run the full speed. The, the black one is uh, wired as a times four. It looks just like a times 16, but it's running at times four. That's the only video card we can fit in the bed, the, right here, the bottom one. So I'm going to go ahead and install the VD card. VD card is installed. And guys, the power supply in here is a 255 watt and it's 80 plus gold, so I'm not going to upgrade. But if you're going to be installing like a GTX 1060 with a single fan, you could probably fit the video card up to here. Then you have to upgrade the power supply. It's a separate video. I uploaded the video. You guys can watch. Uh, I did a tear down disassembly and a uh, pop solo state draw upgrade. It's a separate video you can watch. And guys, be the last part for the gaming. I'm going to upgrade the memory here. I'm going to be installing a total of 8 gigs and it's running the match pair, dual channel and you're going to hear two clicks when the memory installed properly and you're going to be installing the first in the white slots that the, there's a running dual channel, there's a channel A so the memory is installed, a total of 8 gigs, uh, dual channel DDR3 1333 and this is the HyperX from Kingston and you guys, I have the memory I like also is uh, Carsair, Kingston and Crucial, those are top three brands. So you guys, this is the end of the video, this is for the light gaming. What you're going to do is, uh, you're going to plug in the monitor directly to the VD card. If you already have Windows uh, 10, 64-bit installed in it, then what you're going to do is go to NVIDIA website and get the drivers for it and restart the computer if you're going to be running a, using the same VD card. So you guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.